Hello, welcome once again. In this video, the poem Schoolboy is explained in detail. Today I am going to take up the poem The Schoolboy written by William Blake. It's very interesting because the boy is there in us. He is a mirror of us. Let's see how it is. I love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree. Now here summer morn, summer morning. So whenever there's a sunny morning, people come out and enjoy the warmth of it. That's why the boy says that when he wants to rise early and and get out of the house and he wants to listen to the chirping of the birds. The distant huntsman winds is on. In the morning the hunters go for hunting and they make a sound of the horn. So he, he likes that. And the skylark sings with me. The skylark, a bird, a type of a bird it is. Uh, that sings with me. Rather, he sings with a bird. Oh, what a sweet company. Oh, this is a very nice company for the boy. He wants to be with them. But to go to the school on a summer morn, oh, it drives all joy away. So when the parents tell him to get ready for the school, the very thought of going to the school, all the joy, whatever he has, it goes away from him and he becomes very sad. Under a cruel eye outworn. So it is the metaphor for a strict teacher. A little ones spend the day in sighing and dismay. The whole day because of that uh, continuous onslaught of the information. So they are bored up and they sit the whole day in sighing and dismay. Ah, then at times I drooping sit. So I see how beautifully he uses it. So when a bird is sick, it droops its wings and sit. So he compares that. So he sits like that and spend many an anxious hour. He is restless inside the uh, class. Nor in my book can I take delight. So books don't give him interest. He is not interested in reading. Nor sit in bo learning's bower. No, he calls it bower. Bower is a shady place we say. Here it is for the metaphor for the school. Learning's bower. Worn through with a dreary shower. Uh, teacher after teacher, they come and uh, they teach so many things. It is like a shower. Shower here is the rain. Onslaught of the rain. How can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing? Now he compares himself to a caged bird. When the bird loses its freedom, how can it be happy? Freedom is paramount for anybody and everybody. So, how can a child, when fears annoy, but droop his tender wings? Or when he is gripped by a fear, how can he be happy? So, he has to sit like a bird with a drooped wings. And forget his youthful spring. So when the problems are there, when he has lost the interest, how can he simply forget his the beautiful days of childhood? Oh, father and mother, if buds are nipped and blossoms blown away. Now he directly addresses his parents. He says, is it good if a bud 
which has to blossom if you nip it in the bud itself is it fair he asks and the blossoms blown away so when it is flowered the flower petals of the flower if they blow away is it good and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day springing day here means growing age that is childhood so is it good that you are taking away the freedom and you are not allowing the plant or a bud to uh, grow and to uh, blossom so that is not fair he says by sorrow and case dismay so when there is a sorrow and there is a dismay then how can one be happy here the boy compares himself to a bud to a flower and to a tender plant which have to grow so his life is like a bird's life or like a tender plant's life so he asks his parents to give him freedom and allow him to grow by enjoying his childhood days this is the idea how shall the summer rise in joy or the summer's fruit appear or how shall we gather what griefs destroy or bless the mellowing year when the blast of winter appears so when we read this from the last line we have to go so he says when there is a blast of winter blast of winter is the chilly wind that blows is very painful people won't go outside at all that time so when there is a chilly wind that time the, the nice thing of a, a summer morning you can't have at the same time summer fruits cannot appear because it is winter or how shall we gather what griefs destroy how in that condition how can you understand what damage that grief does to us or bless the mellowing years blessing the mellowing year means caring the childhood here blast of winter is his school life so what he it is very painful for, for him see how beautifully blake has brought out this picture so nice so he by this he asks his parents so not to curtail his freedom not to take away his freedom very brief explanation i have given um then if you want these things in kannada another video i have made you can go through that and that summary it is there okay you can go through that write down the summary and learn it better i told you in the beginning that we find ourselves in a boy or he is our mirror now how it is so whenever it is announced that today is a holiday then see how you feel so that means even now also for everybody school is a jail we find ourselves in a jail whenever we are in school nobody enjoys the school environment because the formal schooling is like that but we can't do anything so we have to accept it and we have to go ahead okay but feeling is there that boy is there in us is it so now let me give you some idea about the poem it the poem is very good because lot many poetic devices are used in this poem devices like metaphor imagery then um, rhythm rhyme that rhyme scheme these all are used amply in this poem that makes the poem very beautiful so let let us take one by one when it comes to rhyme scheme it is a b a b b that means i'll explain you what is a b a b b 
So when you take the uh, stanza, uh, how can the bird that is born for joy? So you see the rhyme and rhyme. That is joy, annoy. These two represent a. So this is a a. Same thing as the a a we call. The sing is there. That is b if I call it. Then wing and spring. So it is a b. A B B. So this is the rhyme scheme scheme he has used. Then when it comes to the rhythm, rhythm means when you read a piece of poetry, if you can sing it very easily to the beats, then we call it as a rhythm. The next is metaphor. Ample of metaphors are used, phrases are used. Uh, for example, cruel eye out womb. So for a a strict teacher he uses cruel eye outworn then for the school he uses learning's bower then springing day for the childhood the beautiful childhood like mellowing year this also is same a beautiful imagery also is used in this now when you read the droop droop his tender wings so when you read that you make a mental picture of the bird sick bird sitting with the drooped wings so that is the parallel he is drawing so he was in that condition that was he was like a sick bird and blake is very candid in bringing out the negative emotions normally no one no one will accept that they are not interested in the school so whatever he has felt that is a negative emotion which we easily cannot accept it but he has candidly told that yes i don't like school i don't want to go to school it's like a jail for me and uh, it's neither too long nor too short so in between it is there and uh, one more very important thing is when you uh, take the beginning the imageries or phrases are not there first to two or three stanza you find them very simple and easy but as you go on the understanding and interpreting level increases as you go by this is the beauty of this poem this we call it as appreciation of the poem this is required for answering six marks question along with the content you have to write these points also that is what it is expected out of you okay jai hind see you once again in the next video